Well, welcome back to another edition of 42nd Street Pete's Grindhouse Halloween Extravaganza. And, okay, actually I had a request for this film and it's one of the ones on the list. Shout out to Charlie Thomas for Horror Hotel from 1960. I remember the year when I was a kid. 1960, I would have been like, what, nine years old? Ten years old, maybe? And there's this ad in the paper with all these nasty-looking faces, and it says something about um, they're a thousand years old and human blood keeps them for alive forever. Horror Hotel just ring for doom service. Well, the actual real title of the film was called City of the Dead, and it was directed by John Moxie and starred Christopher Lee in the title role as this college professor who sends one of his students, because they're studying witchcraft, he sends one of his students, this young co-ed, up to the town of Whitewood to do some research. So she checks into this hotel run by Mrs. Newless, or Miss Newless, or whatever she is, and Miss Newless was actually a witch at the beginning of the film that was burned at the stake, so you can see where this is going. So anyway, she goes to this old bookstore, and... Um, talks to this woman who is basically putting it, you know, together, and she takes out this book, and um, she goes back to the hotel, and there's some couples dancing in the lobby, and Mrs. Nublis asks if she's going to join, and, you know, she gets back to her room, and Gussie's up, and goes out there, and there's nobody there. So, she's in her room, and she hears something going, and she finds a trap door, and she goes down the trap door through some catacombs, and walks into a horde of devil worshippers which basically sacrifice her, and when you see the knife go down, then it cuts away to a knife going into a cake at a party that her brother's at. And uh, her fiancé is also at the party, and they're wondering what happened to her, and um, uh, the brother confronts uh, Professor Driscoll, who said, you know, he sent her up there and, you know, um, to do some studying, and it's odd that she didn't come back or whatever. So he goes up there, and it's like he goes to this gas station, which is all fog-shrouded, and um, the gas station attendant gives him uh, uh, directions to the thing, and he picks up this hitchhiker, and oddly this hitchhiker was picked up by his sister, who drove up there, and when she turns around, he's no longer in the car. Same with this. So he goes to the hotel, and of course... Uh, Nulis tells him that, you know, she checked out with her bill unpaid, and he settles it up. Then he goes to talk to uh, this woman at the bookstore, Nan, who, you know, remembers her. And Nan has a grandfather who was the, the town priest who was struck blind by the devil. And she introduces, you know, the fiancé to him, and he's like, you know, mumbling all this religious stuff. But then she finds a dead sparrow stuck to the door and tells her father this, and he goes, bar the doors, bar the doors, they're coming. And then she gets on the phone, and she's calling uh, the brother, and he hears all kinds of stuff going on, and basically the phone slammed down. Now, while this is happening, the fiancé is driving up there, and sees an apparition in the middle of the road, which is Mrs. Newless being consumed by flames, and he crashes the car, staggers out of the car, and makes his way back into the town. Well, the brother runs over to where Nan lives and finds the priest almost dead, but he mutters the shadow of the cross. Get them in the shadow of the cross. So he goes to the hotel, finds, finds the door, also finds a dead servant who was trying to warn uh, them earlier something going on, and sort of crashes the party where they're basically trying to kill Nan. Well, he bats some of the devil worshippers out of the way, one who turns out to be Driscoll. And they escape out into the cemetery, but the sacrifice has to be made at the stroke of 13, I believe. So they're grabbed by the devil worshippers and held down, and she's thrown on a gravestone, and they're ready to do the deed, except that the fiancé staggers out of the car, and... The brother yells, the cross, get them in the shadow of the cross. So he heads toward a grave marker that's a crucifix and starts to pull it out of the ground. But Ms. Newless throws a dagger at him and hits him in the back and basically knocks him down. Now uh, Driscoll pulls out a regular pocket knife and is about to cut her throat when this guy is getting up with the knife in his back. His hands are clawing up the cross and pulls it out of the ground 
and starts staggering as he's dying toward the coven who can't move because they have to do the sacrifice. So one by one he gets them in the shadow of the cross and they burst into flames, including Christopher Lee. Then he finally keels over dead. Uh, they free Nan and they run back to the hotel to confront Mrs. Newless, who was hunched over by the desk and when they turn her over she's a charred corpse. And there's a thing over the uh, desk that said something about that she was burnt there at the stake. Um, I'm not doing this thing justice because I hadn't watched it in a while. I'm going from memory. But this is one of my favorite horror films. And when this thing, even though I missed it as a kid at the movie theater, this thing showed up at 8 o'clock at night years later on, a, I think it was Channel 11 time slot. And I fucking popped for that scene when the guy pulled the cross out of the ground. I thought that was the coolest thing ever, being that he had a knife already stuck in his back. So, yeah, this is one of these films that you have to see. It's old, it's low budget, it's atmospheric. The way that the, the swirling mists and the way the whole town is portrayed with um, the original, you know, the, the sister walking through the town and these couples just standing there and staring at her as the fog swirls around them. Well, it's really fucking spooky, and it's really a good film. And Moxie also um, d directed another film with Christopher Lee that I really like. It's called Circus of Fear. With um, it was uh, a half British cast and a half West German cast, with Anthony Newley, um, Klaus Kinski, Eddie Arndt, a whole bunch of people that you would recognize if you were into those type of movies. So definitely check out Horror Hotel. Available, I think it's from VCI on a Blu-ray as City of the Dead with a little added footage. Definitely worth a look. Definitely a cool fucking spooky film for this season. So that's our show for today. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for tuning in. We'll have more Monster Madness for you tomorrow, so we'll catch you on the flip side. So until then, stay safe.